Good afternoon, Mrs. Drinkwine. My name is Tommy Lee. Um, you can just call me Tommy, and I'm going to be your physical therapist for today. All right. Um, before we start, I just want to let you know kind of what we're about to do. Okay. Um, I'm just going to be asking you a few questions and just jotting some notes down as I go. Um, after that, we're going to do a physical exam where we're just going to take a few test measures, and we're going to see what we can do for today, okay? Okay. Um, is there any concerns or questions that you have for me? No, just kind of hesitant about this, but it'll be okay. Totally understand. Okay. Um, so before we start, I just want to make sure, have, have you ever been in physical therapy before? Um, no, I've never been before. Um, I had a friend who came, and she said it was pretty painful, so I'm a little worried and anxious about it. I don't know. I don't want to get re-injured, and I just want to get back to work where I can dance again. Okay, totally understandable. Well, well definitely, uh, it's unfortunate that your friend had a bad experience. Mm -hmm. um, definitely going to try and make sure that you have a good one get as quickly and smoothly as possible for okay. your recovery, okay? Um, so I just want to confirm some things. I see that you're 24 years old. Mm -hmm. um, can you just let me know when your birthday is? Uh, March 12th, 1993. Okay. And then uh, I also see that your uh, orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Brown, has sent a referral for uh, left hamstring strain. Um, was this correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. And just kind of getting into a little bit more about you before we get into the pain. Um, can you just tell me what you do for a living? Yeah, I'm a dancer at SeaWorld. Um, I don't know if you've ever been to SeaWorld before, but I'm actually from Punta Chipmunk. Um, so I basically do backup dancing and for both animal concert, animal performances and concerts, sorry. And I've been doing it about for two years. So I'm also the trainer of um, incoming costume dancers. So Okay, and do you ever get to dance with animals or because I know SeaWorld is pretty interactive. Yeah, I do. I get to do backup for them. Gotcha. So. Okay, so other than dancing, does your job require you to do any lifting and anything else besides dancing? No, I mean, I wear a mascot costume, but you, yeah. All day or? Um, just when I'm performing. Okay. So, um, you know, a couple hours here and there when I'm performing. So. Okay, and if you can just give me a rough estimate of how much you think that costume would weigh Probably about 30 pounds, I have to guess. It's like, it's like you're wearing a backpack all day, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so do you think your uh, left hamstring strain has affected you and just your work? Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, I've been on crutches for the past four weeks, um, and so I haven't really been able to dance. Uh, it's kind of hard to do that in a mascot costume. Um, but yeah, it's affected my work a lot. Okay, well, definitely going to try and get you as quickly as possible back to work. Dancing is pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, other than dancing and working, is there anything else that you do during your spare time? Um, I like to go to happy hour with some of the other dancers. It's kind of what we like to do on our time off together. Okay. So. Do you uh, do you usually drink whenever you go to happy hour? Um, I drink a couple martinis. Um, I don't actually drink wine. Um, but I drink a couple drinks, and we go about you know one to two days a week, depending on how busy we all are. So. Okay, so sounds like a really good activity. Yeah. Um, so other than that, do you uh, do you any exercise or? Um, well, I was trying to lose weight, um, so I started doing this like running program about mm -hmm. eight months ago. Um, I was pretty good about doing it. I was pretty strict on like strict and consistent on schedule. Um, but yeah, I mean, I dance for my job, so that's a lot of yeah, a lot of physical activity already. Practices for that and everything. So. Okay, and I know you said you uh, you started about eight months ago. Mm -hmm. um, I know your left hamstring strain is definitely a factor, but is there any other reason why you decided to stop? Or? Um, no, I just, uh, I can't, it hurts too much to run, so. Okay, well, let's get into your pain then. Um, can you just kind of describe your pain and tell me where it's located? Um, so it's just in my left hamstring. Left hamstring, yep. okay. And uh, can you just describe it, tell me how it fits? Um, it's pretty tender, I guess would be the best word to use to describe it. Tender, okay. And is it a constant tender, or does it come and go? It comes and goes. Um, sometimes I can get the pain to go away, but yeah, it just depends on what I'm doing. Okay, and does it ever feel deep, or does it feel closer towards the skin? Um, pretty superficial. Superficial? Okay. Alright, so, and have you ever experienced any numbness, any tingliness? With this pain? No. No. Okay. Just the tenderness. Just the tenderness. Okay. And if you could, just on a scale from zero to ten, with zero being no pain and ten being the worst, 
this? Can you, can you just scrub your pain at what it's currently at? Um, currently, like right now, it'd be like one out of ten. One out of ten. Okay. Mm-hmm. What about whenever it's at its best? Um, at its best, I can get down to a zero. A zero. Pain. Okay, yeah. so no pain. No pain. And what about whenever it's the worst? Mm, in the past two weeks, I said probably say the worst it's gotten up to is about a six out of ten. Six out of ten. Yeah. Okay, and uh, do you experience any pain anywhere else? Mm-mm, just my left hamstring. Okay, and I just want to double check uh, no pain in the le- in your legs, mm-hmm. in your abdomen, uh, either of your arms? No. Your neck or your head? Mm-hmm. Good. And then, uh, so just kind of going about, to talk more about the pain, um, what have you noticed that have made it worse? Um, whenever I walk or I dance, the pain seems to get a little worse. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So walking. Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, how long does it usually take for you? Not long. Like only about two minutes, I'd say. Two minutes. Okay. And uh, what do you usually do to make that pain either go away or just feel better in general? Um. Usually, if I like, you know, rest, take some medicine, put it on ice. Um, I can normally get it to calm down. It doesn't take too long. So. Okay. And I mean, if you had just guesstimate. How long would it take for it to? Uh, uh, maybe to like better? ten minutes. It's like my pain is like at really high. About ten minutes. Okay, and typically in the morning, how how does that make you feel? Your pain? It's just a little stiff. A little stiff. I can say the name. Nothing more than just stiffness. Just stiff. Okay. Does it ever change as it progresses into the afternoon? Yeah, the more activity I do, uh, the more it hurts. So I tend to not to have much activity, um, but it's. Yeah, it progresses throughout the day. Okay, and does it get even, how does it progress whenever it's nighttime then? Um, at night, if I'm kind of at home and winding down, it gets a little better, but otherwise, if I'm still consistently doing things, it, the pain stays elevated. Okay, so have you ever noticed that you've lost some sleep, or you're just waking up in the middle of the night because of your pain? No, I pretty much sleep through the whole night. Okay, sounds good. Um, so I just want to make sure I have this correct. Um, I see that you have your pain your left hamstring. Mm-hmm. Um, currently it's at a 1 out of 10. Um, whenever it's at its best, it's a 0 out of 10. Mm-hmm. And whenever it's worse, it's 6 out of 10. Yep. Typically, whenever you are walking and dancing, that's what aggravates it. Mm-hmm. And what usually eases it is rest, ice, and medications. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So I just want to go over some things with you. Um, I see that you filled out your medical screen form. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I just want to confirm. Um, I see that you've had surgery. Um, yeah. Can you Describe that surgery or what it was for? Um, it was about six years ago, I guess. It was when I was 18. I, was, I used to be a cheerleader. And um, I had a right hip uh, labial repair. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it was just injury to cheer- cheerleading. Okay. And how was that surgery? Uh, it went pretty smooth. There was no complications, so I recovered. Okay. And there was no problems afterwards either? Mm-mm. No, I was able to recover pretty quickly. Perfect. All right. And uh, I know you mentioned earlier that you do occasionally go out and drink. Um, mm-hmm. Do you uh, smoke or anything else? Just drinking? No, just drinking occasionally. It's occasionally. not. Okay. Can you elaborate a little bit more on occasionally? Um, um, well, much, one or? to two nights a week and then probably a couple drinks, you know, two each. Okay. One to two drinks a night. All right. And I also want to just make sure that you did mark no for your family history when it comes to the cancer that mm-hmm. you use. And yeah. I'll provide this. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Okay. Um, I also did see that on your medical screen that you do have... Uh, anxiety? Yeah, I'm just kind of nervous about the whole process. I've never been through it before, and I haven't had the best positive um, you know, experiences about PT, so I just am kind of ready to get back to my job and hoping I don't get re-injured throughout the PT process. Okay, well, we're definitely going to try and work, you know, like I said, as smoothly and as quickly as possible. Okay. Um, hopefully that eases some things down. And I definitely understand where you're coming from when it comes Whenever you say you're a little anxious, mm-hmm. I know PT can be a little bit scary. So, um, other than that, have you had any imaging done? Uh, when I went to the ER, I think they did X ray and MRI. Okay, and did your uh, doctor say um, what were the results? Or um, they said it was like a grade two strain. Grade two strain. Yeah. Okay, and uh, did they prescribe you any medications for it, or you taking? Uh, Mobig. Mobig. Okay. Yeah. And then I was told to do the rice um, sequence. Um, so I've been doing that for four weeks. I was supposed to come in for PT two weeks ago, but I've been a little hesitant. So 
Okay, and I just want to make sure with Mobic, I know sometimes um, we just want to make sure that it's not affecting anything else. Have you ever experienced any chest pain or any changes mm -hmm. in your bladder bowel? Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, you're not coughing or are you coughing any blood no. or? No. Okay, so other than that, um, are you taking any other medications for any other symptoms? No. No? Okay, and were there any other symptoms that we didn't talk about today that you want to address? Um, no, I think we covered most of the pain and stuff I did experience. Right? Okay, so. so the hamstring strain is the main thing. Can you just mm -hmm. tell me just kind of what happened? And just yeah, um, I was trying to hang up plants in my yard and um, I was like standing on this pot and I don't know, I kind of, you know, lost my balance or whatever and I went to step down um, but my dog was underneath me and obviously I couldn't step on my dog. Um, so I like kind of sit my leg back and I guess I landed on my heel, but my hip was not fully extended. It was kind of flexed. So I think it was just a combination of factors there. I guess. Okay. What kind of dog do you have? Um, it's this little fluffy, <laughs> <laughs> I call her Piper. Her name's Piper. Not oh, okay. Dog. Yeah. So. Gotcha. Okay. So before you got injured, can you just tell me or describe your life? And how it was before. Um, yeah, I, used to, I mean, I used to be dancing and hanging out with friends. I had my running schedule, so I just used to be a lot more active than I am now. Okay, and are you currently living in a house or apartment? A house is in one bedroom, or in one story, sorry. House, okay. So. okay, and have you ever experienced any struggles or concerns whenever you are in your living situation? Um, no, the front porch has a couple steps, but I'm able to go in through the back door, so it's fine. Okay. So I just want to make sure, uh, what do you expect to get out of physical therapy? Uh, I want to get back to my job. Um, I missed it. I'm kind of ready to be dancing again and be back to my normal functioning. Um, yeah, I guess just I'm kind of hoping it's an easy process and I can get out of a lot of pain and things. So. Well, I'll definitely let you know that you know, whatever you're feeling now is probably going to be the worst. And okay. We're going to really try our best to get you performing at its best, okay? Okay, thanks. Um, other than that... Um, we are potentially going to send home some uh, workouts mm -hmm. at home. Um, I just want to make sure, um, what's the best way you would say um, you'd like to learn? Can you send home, like, pictures? Is that possible? Pictures, You're pretty yeah. visual. Yeah. Diagrams, too? And, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, so is there any other concerns or questions you have for me? Um, I think that about covers it. All right, then uh, we'll go ahead and start our physical exam then. All right, thank you. Thank you.